YouTube, it's time for a live subathon edition of Table 500, where you send in your dumbest, stupidest, craziest replays, and we check them out and see just exactly what you've come up with. Oh boy! All right, we got some uh, black garden plays here. What's our? Uh, how do you? So, so you're going first, and you're going to lose. And ladies and gentlemen, name a deck in Yu-Gi-Oh that can out Crystal Wing negate, Baron negate, Dragster negate, Magis uh, Blazar Dragon summon negate, I think, and Magispector shooting, uh, Magispector shooting Majestic Star Dragon and Blazar an Ash in hand. Let's see what happens. Step one, Lava Golem. <laughs> Step one, Lava Golem. But that's okay, because we can bring back our Crystal Wing with the effect of the Assault Synchron when a dragon has been tributed. <laughs> it's your average uh, go second deck, huh? Okay. Got a Pot of Desires. We still have Ash Blossom. We still have responses, admittedly. Okay, we're going to pass turn here. All right. Uh, that's fair. Uh, standby phase, we're gonna take 3,000 damage from the Golem is Lava. Alright, uh, here we go. Uh, Stardust Synchron's gonna tribute a token, bring itself back, summon the Caligo Claw, battle phase attack for game, and ceasefire for 25 plus Lord, summoning itself in defense mode to chump block, setting a copy of Just Desserts, and you know it's just over. Draw phase, five effect monsters on the field, flip Just Desserts, 25 exact damage per game. Triple Lava Golem Burn. <laughs> I just, I've never, like, there's tw 12 negates or something, you know? And we still won. Uh, this is Dream Mirror Burning Abyss. I mean, you guys ever seen this synergy before? I think I have. All right, we're going to go Magical Mallet, putting back Barbar. Bar. No, why would you put back Barbar? Bar? Uh, we got Neroy and Asir here, okay. Neroy Jenkins is like a one card Link 4 or something at least, right? Fetch summon this thing. And uh, we're going to climb up into a, uh, a Ikolos who adds uh, more cards for us. The Fusion, the Miracle Fusion. Activate the uh, field spell here. Now we're going to trade up and tag into the other Ikolos. It's time for Cross Sheep. Now we get to Banish from the Grave to summon out the uh, Mirror Tormentor. This triggers the Cross Sheep here. Cross Sheep will be bringing back the Neroy. Going into Cherubini. All right, things are getting burning the piss here. Uh, there's going to be a uh, sent Torn Scale. Now we're going to go into Bardiche. Bardiche going to go and send a Clock here, setting the Phantom Knight Shade Burgundine. Banish the Cloak to add Boots. This is going to trigger the uh, Phantom Knight Torn Scale. When it's banished to Special Summon, doesn't use the effect of the Torn Scale to discard and send, so we don't get a Cherubini Special Summon off the Seer because we're in fact doing other nonsense, it looks like. We're going to go with Zolde, Special Summon out <laughs> Elemental Hero Vion. Uh, that's one way to play your deck, okay, sure. Elemental Hero Vion plus Bamboo Sword, adding a Broken Bamboo Sword. Vion effect, going to dump Shadow Piss, who activates the effect here to add a Destiny Hero Malicious. Elemental Hero Vion Banishing to add a Polymerization from deck to the hand here. Activate the effect of the boots in the graveyard that's going to add a copy of Phantom Knight Spear. Anyone ever seen this one played? Polymerization, fusing the Malicious, plus something to make Garuda. And uh, now we're going to use the Malicious here to banish and... Uh, <laughs> are we making Beatrice? Yes, we are. We're making Beatrice. Bat chest. It's Beatrice. Burning Abyss card. Ja, ja. Sends a Summoner Monk to the graveyard. Garura is going to draw a card here. Combines those to link up into Lina. And then uses those to climb up into Selene for Spellcaster Fodder, it looks like. And now Selene gets to bring back the uh, Summoner Monk here that we just dumped. Summoner Monk effect, going to discard the Spear. Summoning out Dark Dorido. How, how is it twice we've seen this today? I don't know. Stacks the deck here with a bunch of attributes. Climbs up into the Saryuja. Now Saryuja's gonna get the last four remaining pieces we need for whatever dumb bullshit we're doing here. As we Special Summon Ferret, who tributes itself off to Special Summon out... Brotor, a mirror, and a serpentine princess. Now we're playing dragons, it looks like, as we summon Pisty to bring back Brotor. Uh, activate Brotor here to target the mirror resonator. That's going to discard a bamboo sword to add Tierra Source of Destruction. Okay, now we're going to link up into Romulus. Romulus is going to add Dragonity Divine Lance here. Activate the Shade Brigandy to special summon. Activate the... Uh, uh, this is whatever. Uh, now we get to synchro up into the Garden Rose Maiden. Garden Rose Maiden going to add from the deck to the hand here a copy of the Black Garden. 
The Black Garden is added to the hand here. And now we're going to activate the, the Dragoonity Lance on the Romulus, which then equips the Phalanx here, who summons himself, and that gives us some Synchro plays if we really wanted to go into. Ah, but of course, Ancient Fairy Dragon, who we've seen four times tonight. Special summons out the Serpentine Princess. What's going on? This face-up card is sent return from the deck. Select special summon level four to your... Where's all these tokens? What is going on? Oh, shit! It's the Tierra Source of Destruction summoning condition here, which says, must be special summoned by shuffling 10 other cards with different names from your hand or field into the deck or extra deck and cannot be summoned by either ways. What's good? What, what, what does it do, though? What does it do, though? We're chaining to the Serpentine Princess here, who, again, was... Here it comes, here it comes. Leaves the field, selected special level 3 lore muscle from your deck to your side of the field, then shuffle your deck, okay. Shuffling, 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 putting everything back, recycling with Tierra. Boing, boing, boing. Alright, everything's being recycled here. There's no way you're just doing this again, right? Recycling, 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 recycling. Puts everything back, summons out Ra Fiendish Rhino Warriors. <laughs> that takes a Dante! <laughs> For Lina to bring back Seer Target Dante. Dante Target Seer. <laughs> and now Fiendish Rhino Warrior. Are you gonna send a Skarm? Oh my, we're just gonna fucking search Star Guide. <laughs> we're just gonna fucking search Star Guide. <laughs> Alright, discard, rank up into Beatrice. And then we're just gonna go end phase and search fucking Star Guide. <laughs> and that's the best board in Burning Abyss. Oh my god, did we not have space for Mascarena? This should have been Mascarena. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> there it is, the best Burning Abyss board. Oh, we got snow as well, why not? You know, if you're just tuning in and you're watching this, you're probably thinking, what is this table 500? It's just Farfa's standard locals board. Like, what? what is this? Then you top deck a Dragoonity Lancer and you're like, huh? Oh my god. Alright, link these two up into Cherubini and I'm tr pretty sure we just like go for some kind of OTK with access code. And there it is. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Beatrice Pass. I got a pen. I got a pineapple. Pineapple pen. Fengli the Soldaprom is going to be magical malleted away here. Look at these negative combos. What are we playing? We are playing Beast of the Pharaoh Hand Destruction. Discards two of the, uh, what's it called? What rank is this? Just your average plat five game. Honestly, I didn't think Plot 5 was this bad, but yes, there are people who play Blasting the Ruins and whatever this is that we're witnessing right now. We're gonna add these golden bamboo swords to our hand here. Here's Beast of the Pharaoh. And we're gonna equip the uh, sword to draw two cards. Oh boy, not bad. Draw two more cards here. And another Beast of the Pharaoh. We're gonna mallet that one away with the hand destruction and the synchro. Oh, just everything. All right, just draw a new hand. And that is a synchro overtake, revealing Hades to special summon uh, Hyper Librarian. Beast of the Pharaoh brings itself back every time it is Synchro Summoned here. We're going to go into Azura. Bring itself back into a uh, draw. That's really what we're trying to do here. Yep, okay, we're just going to use this as like a draw engine. It looks like the it, it looks like the wind condition's online right now. So that's kind of what we're doing here. Uh, the Pineapple brings itself back and we can Synchro up into a 5 here. Beast of the Pharaoh brings itself... Beast of the Pharaoh Hyper Librarian. Can you name a better combo? Can anyone name a better combo? All right, here we go. We're slowly starting to climb up here, getting draws and farming some uh, some resources off of this library and beast combo. And uh, that's a synchro magnet. We got synchro realm here. Chain this insect guy. What does it do? It tags into this. And we're going to go Cupid Pitch plus the synchro overtick plus the beast here plus the synchro magnet. Just forming a five uh, card chain link by ourselves to special summon and float and bring back. Um, keep gathering these resources here. Animador and Corcosaur is the one you're looking for. Synchro Realm plus this. Plus, look, I mean, look at this. Draw, draw, draw off the Coral Dragon, off the Librarian, off the Crocosaur. Uh, bring this back. We're going to go into the boy. Going to keep drawing here. We've got a second Synchro Realm here. What does this Synchro Realm actually do? Inflict 500 damage to your opponent each time you Synchro Summon. 14 ban lists deep into the LCS, and Alicia is trying to make Synchro FTK a thing here. That is unbelievable. Every single Synchro Summon now is going to inflict 1,000 points of damage to our opponent. What an absolute champion for uh, sticking this one out, though. I mean, look at this. How many times can we Synchro Summon? Well, when you have Beast of the Pharaoh, you can Synchro Summon an abundant number of times, let me tell you. Burn, burn, burn. Up into the Cupid Pitch here. Hyper Librarian. Burn, 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 burn. 
Bring back here with the Beast of the Pharaoh here. And uh, what's our next summon? Okay, Synchro uh, Stardust Charge War. Is it possible to run out of Synchro Monsters? We've got two monsters in our extra deck left. That's only 2,000 damage, hypothetically. But that's where the last piece of damage comes from. Dark Stripe Fighter! <laughs> Beast of the Pharaoh Synchro uh, FTK. Very nice, Alicia. Very nice. We've got a uh, Bronze Replay. Yep, this is bronze. We got Opabinia here, who looks like we're playing a <laughs> live twin god deck. So, um, that's interesting. We're gonna discard and special summon from the deck a, a Lilla. Our opponent's gonna Magnemut us. We're not going to maxi it, but we will Ash it. I guess we're gonna hold that for our opponent's turn here. So, setting up a basic uh, Lilla Kissakill combo here, plus some trap cards. Let's see uh, where this is going to get us. We're gonna pop the Magnemut, end on a Trouble Sunny. Uh, set two very standard and staple trap cards in, in, in Evil Twin. Okay, we're gonna- Oh! Okay. Standby phase, Leancolia, return a banished face down card to the graveyard, return Slifer the Sky Dragon, activate the revived scun uh, Sun God, chain called by the grave, by the way, on this. Oh my god, banishing Slifer, revive Sun God resolves without effect that our opponent's going to begin with- Branded lost here. Chain out the Trouble Sunny. And we're gonna special summon out. This is bronze, by the way. Uh Kiss a Kill and Lilla. We're gonna pop the uh, pop this, draw a card. See if we can top deck anything useful here. Uh let's see if our opponent has got that all important Biden fusion. Uh, we draw into trap trick. Our... Yeah, there it is. Okay. Uh shouldn't have, shouldn't have ashed that Magnemut, huh? Could have kept your uh, Ash Blossom instead of dealing with just one dragon. All right, they're gonna go Albaz into Rindbrum here. Okay, Rindbrum, and we've got a Tear Lament Shirin in the hand, discarding Dru uh, Tragedy. That's insane. Drew's Worm uh, is milled, as well as Havness and the Saranir here. All right, we get to play a little bit of the game. We're gonna dump the opening. Uses up into Kit Kalos, and Kit Kalos is gonna add. Uh, sorry, the uh, Tragedy is gonna add the Alibur. Kit Kalos to the new chain. We're going to activate this to send off the top here and uh, draw with our uh, the thing in the graveyard. Drawing Maxi, drawing some Slifer cards, recycling with Alibar, Battle Phase with the Rue Colossus here and the Rinbrum. And uh, I don't know if that was really worth playing that hard into the Maxi, I'm going to be honest with you. All right, draw for turn. And we've, we're starting our turn with seven cards. I mean, if, if, this, if this isn't enough, then I don't know what is. Uh, we're going to go and try and use Live Twin Home. Rue Colossus is going to negate. Uh, bring itself back. We're going to get Chain Revived Sun God in the graveyard. This has a graveyard effect, apparently. We're going to banish it to stack Monster Reborn and add it and draw it, I guess. We're just going to add a Reborn. Going to normal summon the Lilla into the Kissika. I'm trying to understand the synergy here, to be honest with you, is what I'm really confused about. It's like, what's the synergy with this deck? Going to pop the Rukalos here, despite the fact that it's already been used. But our opponent's going to uh, negate that with Rinrum regardless. Okay. Here's that monster reborn. They're going to reborn Trouble Sunny here. Okay. We're gonna reborn Trouble Sunny. Go battle phase. Punch over the Rukalos. Still in the battle phase. Bring out the two lads. Uh, they are still alive. We're gonna pop and draw. And popping and locking into a kiss a kill. Trouble Sunny effect in the graveyard. Banish. Send and send. Alibur effect to return itself. Rinbrum effect as well to revive Albaz. Uh, I, Albaz will discard. Attempt to go into a Mirror Jade, it looks like. And Mirror Jade is summoned. Alright, set two and pass here. Our opponent's gonna top deck, and uh, I think they can recycle the Branded Fusion from the graveyard. Yes, they can. Gonna add back Tragic. Look at these bronze players, dude. They're crazy. Uh, don't know why we're chaining Mirror Jade here. I guess we're banishing itself, but I mean, it was gonna get banished anyway. That's confusing. Alright, Trap Trick into the, uh, what's it called here? Um, now it's time for the Revive Sun God. Activate the Revive Sun God, chain the Maxi. Chain the Maxi, special summon out from the graveyard, Slifer the Sky Dragon, draw six cards for both players. <laughs> All right. Uh, multiple Slifers in this deck, baby. Uh, Time Lord, uh, Time Lord Live Twin Striker. Interesting build here. Slifer the Sky Dragon is going to uh, reduce by 2,000 and destroy if it hits zero for every monster special summon, but our opponent has Havness here. Uh, let's see if that's going to uh, trigger a Kit Kalos fusion, which I'm sure it will be. Retribution is activated to add back the Lost here. This is about to be a thick, chonky Slifer right now. Gets back the Branded Lost. 
And we're gonna bring back Rhino Heart discarding. Is that a Murly? Is a pre ban list? Okay, that's fair. Into Masquerade the Blazing Dragon. Uh, I don't know how big you think you can make this slifer here. Oh my god, are they gonna for are they are they gonna like chain to each other infinitely? No, they're not. Okay. Every single time we summon a monster, we reduce the attack by two thousand. Oh, we could just negate slifer. That's absurd. Is it mandatory? Oh my god, it's mandatory. It's mandatory. You're gonna die. Just keep special summoning. <laughs> It's man, right? Slifer is mandatory. Uh, if a monster, that monster loses, we're gonna masquerade, burn our opponent. Okay, no, it's it's not effect damage; it's a cost. So we aren't gonna die here, but we are gonna put ourselves so low to the point that we will not be able to activate a card, and we're just gonna keep letting Slifer get bigger and bigger. Albion's gonna banish here to summon. Sorry, we're gonna fuse into Kit Kalos with this Albion. By the way. Branded Regain, gonna recycle and draw a card here. Okay. <laughs> Slifer and Maxi, I mean, name a better duel. Here's the Kit Kalos. Brings out the Rhino Heart, sends this. Normal Summon Sharon, Foolish Amphibian. What is your goal here? Like, what is your plan? What's your... What is... What's going on? Like, what is your plan? How do you... You just don't have an out to Slifer. <laughs> like, we just don't have an out. Like, we just can't beat it. Okay. Um, well... Do, do we just turn Slifer to attack here and punch the Masquerade? There's no shot. There's no shot. That was it. Like, that was just good enough. That, that was good enough. Uh, Branded Tear just doesn't have an out to Slifer. Would you believe it? Uh, okay, this is definitely a hand. There's uh, indeed cards here. Looks like we're going to be playing some sort of uh, plant shenanigans. Discarding the Carrot Champion, best discard in plants here, to go for the Cobra who adds Ultra Polymerization here. Now, if you play Ultra Polymerization in your deck list, that's never going to be a particularly fair or uh, normal interaction that you'll witness. Uh, but we're going to try our best here and uh, see if we can come up with something spicy. Ultra Polymerization banishes itself from the graveyard to summon back the materials of the Ambulance, which is Cobra and Scorpio. And we're going to activate himself here to tribute special summon out the deck here. A Biblis looking semi, kind of, sort of, slightly normal for Predator Plants. But now it looks like we're going into the Link Engine with Jasmine, who tributes away the Cobra to special summon out the Rika. Rika Madan here going to get a Glamour instead of a Con Con. That's interesting. Tributes away the Jasmine for some reason. Okay, normally that's not how that works, but... Let's see, uh, we're doing a different type of combo today as Primula activates on the new chain when a plant is tributed, targeting this to make it a rank uh, 8. Now we're going to go into Strena here, who recycles back the Lone Fire from the hand. And uh, scales up here, Boofa these nuts and the Triantis. Uh, we're actually going to do a Pendulum Summon, by the way. Into the Sylvan Dance Peon, who's going to get it twisted and mill three cards and try hit a plant. That's a s double Sylvan Hermitry, by the way. Uh, plant Gamers, rise up. Dance Peon activates the effect here to do something to, to change the level of the Hermitry. We're going to go Akashic to return almost as his points to activate the effect of the Lone Fire. Strena effect gets tributed, goes into a Sylvan of the Arbiter here. Lone Fire Blossom going to summon out another Lone Fire. Just trading and cycling those out here for Mardell. Mardell will add any plant monster that's going to be a Rose Girl. Now we're going to go Arbiter here to tribute off the Mardell. I think we're going to stack our deck, which hits a uh, plant here. That's Archfiend's Oath has been drawn. That's an interesting card here. Okay, Archfiend Oath, if you don't know what that does, I think it's like some burn damage whenever you call the correct card off the top of your opponent's deck here. Um, okay, no, you get to call your own deck, it looks like, right? Archfiend Oath, pay 500, declare a card name. We do know what the top cards of our deck are because of the Sylvan High Arbiter stacking our deck here. So we're going to get a bunch of resources here and then tribute off of the Princess Sprite, bring back the Hermitry. And now the High Arbiter activates to detach to stack our deck even more or excavate a number. I think we're excavating eight cards or something. Uh, no, we're just going to stack, stack the deck here into the Venom. Uh, this is going to copy someone. We'll see who in a moment here. What are we cooking with this nonsense? going to fuse up and put some Predator counters everywhere. Here we're tackling the Triantis. No, we're not going to fuse. We're just going to put some counters here. Uh, gets a Sylvan Charity. Biblos Buffet gets the Special Summon itself. Link 4 away into Saryuja. What are we digging for? What are we digging for? Get a Chain Rose Girl to the effect of this, which is what? Special Summon? Special Summons out the Rose Girl. Draws four cards. Puts some back here. Avarice recycling all of our XC monsters. Literally, literally just the whole extra deck is being uh, recycled here from the Avarice. 
Okay, we're gonna draw some Sylvans here. We're gonna go Sylvan Charity. We're gonna keep drawing and keep drawing. We're just seeing a bunch of Sylvan cards. We're putting some plants to the top of our deck here. Now I'm gonna use the Saryuja to special summon out the Princess Sprite, who tributes to excavate the top card. We had a Peacekeeper, who brings back the... or t puts this back and special... What are you, how, it reborns. Okay. Uh, synchroing up into the Empress of the Blossoms here, bringing back the Rika. Uh, now we're gonna get to manipulate the levels to go into a 7 here for Kashtira Shangri-Ra. <laughs> Uh, Akashic Magician Effect calls a random card here, Skull Stalker. I don't know what that is, but we're gonna excavate um, a bunch of cards here. Uh, I don't know how we excavated. Was it the Akashic? Does it excavate and just send? Okay, that's fair. So I specials out the Sage Okoya here. Uh, the Sprout brings itself back here, gets to copy the level into a second Kashtira Shangri. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? We're gonna go Gift Exchange, banish a face down card from both players' hand here, from the top of the decks, I think, right? Copying the effect of the ca of this of the uh, I think, right? Ka Sh Kashtira Shangri, triple Kashtira Shangri is technically on the field now. Locking the three zones with the Gift Exchange activates another Gift Exchange here, so we get to lock three more zones. Okay, so that's. Um, six out of ten zones locked down here. Can we do more? Can we can we do more? All right, that's everything. Uh, nope, no. Okay, just uh, we're gonna go for a six zone lock here. Interesting. All right, uh, our opponent's gonna get a regulus back to the hand. We're gonna recycle some cards here, uh, and the gift exchange does give our opponent back all all of this resources. But what can they do with only four spell and trap zones? You better be playing a deck here that requires only spells and traps. Gonna summon Fenrir. They're just passing. They can't play. They need monsters. It looks like a fusion deck, baby. As we just go to the battle phase. Uh, did you forget chicken game? Yo, hold up. Did you forget chicken game? Oh, it doesn't matter. Yes, you did! Wait, they scooped? I mean, they could have got another turn, but admittedly, I don't know how much it really would have mattered. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> there you go. Um, Kashtira Plants, best deck. Uh, it really is the six zone lock 20 Garnet combo that we were all been waiting for. GG. All right, uh, next up. Uh, there's no shot you've managed to make Drytron fun and cool, so, um, we'll see what we can do. I mean, we've got Cyber Summon Blaster here. I'm, I'm sure something cool and interesting can happen with Drytron, right, guys? Right? Like, surely Drytron can do something cool. Alright, it's Alpha Zeta. Let's see what this, uh, is going to set up for us. Just let him cook, chat. Let him cook. Okay, don't badge yet. Don't badge yet. Okay, let him cook. Um... There's, uh, it's, Drytron is a really good engine to do nasty, stupid, uh, funky ritual stuff. So just hold up, let cook, let him joel. Just give it a minute, alright? This is, uh, I, I believe that this might be on the way to greatness here. Alright, we're gonna tribute out the hand here for the, uh, Drytron, uh, Medionis to get Idaten who recycles. Now we've got a Beatrice play. We're actually gonna go for shooting Riser Dragon. Okay, things are getting a little bit different now. So, uh, this isn't very completely standard here. I'm gonna go Magic Key, uh, Battle Busters, Ritual Summon at the Grave with the effect of the Fafnir being substituted as materials on the Ritual Summon. Mafta activates in the hand to do something, apparently. Bring it to Axel Synchron, all right? Things are getting a little bit hazy. That's gonna be uh, overlaid into Beat Rice. Gonna Normal Summon the Mafta, brings back the Ritual Monster here. That's gonna be synchroed up, uh, oh, Link up into a Barricade Borg Burger. Activate the Beatrice here, who sends Give and Take, a trap card which states, that you can special a monster from your graveyard to your opponent's side of the field in defense, and then increase the level of one monster you control by the level of the special summon monster until the end phase. Okay, let cook. Here we go, we got a bunch of machines here for uh, Aurora Dawn. These always do fun combos. Tribute three to add back, give and take, to set into Samurai Destroyer, and pass turn. Okay, all right. So, we're gonna go standby phase. Cyber Summon Blaster. Each time a monster is specialed, while well, this card is already face up, and you spell in Trap Zone, inflict 300 damage to your opponent. We're gonna go Beatrice Effect here, detaching to dump something to the graveyard. What are we dumping? We're sending Yajiro Invader, and then we're gonna use Give and Take. Special one monster from your field to your opponent's side of field and defense, and if you do increase the level, that monster until the end phase. So we're gonna special summon Invader over here, activate the effect of Snow. Snow is going to be summoned to the far left zone to move closer to the Samurai Destroyer zone. The Samurai Destroyer brings itself back and moves into the zone of Yajiro. Cyber Summon Blaster deals 300 damage each time a machine is special summoned. 
Yajiro Invader moves to the zone of Samurai Destroyer, and Samurai Destroyer brings itself back as a non-once per turn destruction revival, triggering the Cyber Summon Blaster to deal 300 points of life point damage. And then we just keep repeating that loop infinitely until our life points have ran out here. So there it is. A another unique Yajiro Invader FTK. During the opponent's draw phase, it'd be really funny if they drew a droplet or something, but there it is. I like that. I, I love that they play it out. Let them play it out. Let them play it out. Oh, wow. They didn't... <laughs> they scooped. They didn't play it out. I think it was Cyber Summon Blaster trigger number 27, which is the one that got them, right? Like, maybe after, like, the 16th time they burned for 300, they were like, okay, you know what? Let him cook. Maybe he's going to run out of steam here. Uh, but it was actually, like, deep into, like, 5,000 damage is when they realized, oh, maybe we should stop. GG! All right, next replay. We've got... What appears to be some sort of a runic engine. Uh, for tip, our opponent's going to banish one Doki off the top here. So it's an Emancipator player. Do with that information what you will. You can call it deserved that they're playing against runic. Or you can uh, laugh at them for it or not laugh. It's up to you. I completely understand the uh, the validity of both arguments here. Okay, so we're going to draw with runic fountain here for three. To zombie cards. Okay. All right. Normal summoning the uh, plague spreader to go into the cupid pitch. Cupid Pitch, going to uh, search, I think, or sorry, re reduce its level, summoning out the... I, I forgot Freki was a, a card. I completely forgot about the existence of this runic. But hey, it makes Ancient Fairy Dragon. So let him cook. <laughs> Adding Black Garden. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, I see where this is going, huh? Special summon Beast of the Pharaoh, huh? What are you doing? Yo, what are you doing there, bro? What are you doing there, bro, huh? This is, this is all runics. Is this a runic deck, bro? What are you, what are you doing, bro? Like, uh, what are you doing? Dark Dimension Soldier. Bringing back Beast of the Pharaoh here. Dark Dimension Soldier. Banish a card from your hand. And then bring back a banished monster. Bring back the Plague Spreader. Summon out the Jerry. Runic Fountain uh, effect number two here, I think, right? This is the second one. Jerry get to recycle another uh, runic from the graveyard here. And then the Runic Fountain gets to draw two. We put to the bottom and see Maxine a solitaire climbs up into the immortal dragon. Runic zombies, huh? Okay, we're gonna go and dump Mizuki for Hyper Librarian. And now it's time for the fun engine of the deck here. Now it's time for the fun engine. Gonna make another five here for the Axel Synchron. Hyper Librarian plus Beast of the Pharaoh. Who would have thought that the theme of this table 500 would be Beast of the Frickin' Pharaoh, by the way? Oh, it's to execute our Pluto. Okay, that's interesting. Links away, or sorry, Synchro's away, the Pluto for Beals. Oh my god, I know where this is going. Oh my god, I know where this is going. Into Blackwing Assault Dragon. Into Transverser. Gives your opponent Beals. And takes a token. Standby phase. We're going to activate the effect of Dark Dimension Soldier. Or oh, sorry, during the end phase. During the end phase, inflict 100 damage to your opponent for each set card on the field. You can only use each effect once per turn. They deal 100 damage, which triggers the effect of Beals. Which triggers the effect of the Beals on itself here. For if, what's the secondary damage here coming from? The Assault Wing Dragon! The Black Wing Assault Wing Dragon caused an infinite loop on the Beals because we inflicted 1,000 damage. And when we take damage, we gain attack um, equal to that damage taken. And because our opponent is activating a card effect, we inflict 700 damage to Assault Wing. And because we inflict 700 damage, Beals gains attack. And every single time that happens, they loop each other and infinitely we FTK with Black Wing Assault, Runix, Zombie, Synchro, Burn. <laughs> GG. All right, what do we got here? Our opponent's gonna normal summon Gozuki and dump a Plague Spreader Zombie and... Now it's time for Maxi as we chain to the Plague Spreader. What are we going to do here? Opponent's going to climb up into a ha- What format are you playing? What- which- what format is this? Where are you? What are you- what game are you playing? Uh, how long ago was this? Into Magus, by the way. <laughs> Uh, for Ferocious Flame Swordsman. For Crusadia for Isolde. <laughs> ah, yes, Isolde. Isolde add a uh, Pendulum Monster to send to, uh, to summon out Dawn Knight. Uh, talk about Isolde Send 4, huh? To Union Carrier dumping snow here. And equipping Box of Friends. Banishing and banishing uh, with snow. You trigger the Box of Friends to summon out these two idiot Pendulum Monsters. Zero attack and zero defense for an Electromite breaks the bamboo sword with the Electromite. 
Now we have Pendulum skills. We Pendulum summon back Dark Dorido, by the way, which, uh... Choose four monsters, an Earth, Water, Fire, Wind, and place them on top of your deck in any order. Alright, that's, uh, different. Zumo Spirit ba bounces itself to the hand when it's been, uh, when you Pendulum Summon. We're gonna use Renaud now. Renaud going to add back DDR. Okay. Uh, into Heraldry Patriarch. Into... Sorry, you just Skaldra to draw those four monsters off the top of our deck here. But first, we're gonna activate the effect of the Grave Effect of Heraldry, which is... Uh, Lee's Field, uh, send two Heraldic Beasts from deck to the graveyard. Uh, but first we are gonna draw before sending. So draw four, put back to the bottom. Sending with these two here, Heraldic Beast Leo triggers to add a copy of the Twin-Headed Eagle. Droll and Lockbird, where did that come from? Okay. Uh, maybe, uh, <laughs> may maybe it's kind of over here. Well, that's a Neko Main King, what are you doing? And a Vylon Prisma. A Vylon Prisma, Maxi, and a Vylon... I, I, I'm just... I, I, I don't know what's going on here. Where is this going? We're gonna summon out Fairy Tail Snow, you absolute animal. Um, for a tuner monster here. Sending Yajiro Invader. No, stop. Gonna activate Snow Gear, Banishing for Special summoning out from the deck here. Activate the Silent Wobby. Silent Wobby. And then we're gonna go DDR, DDR Discard. Bring back the banished Yajiro Invader. And there it is. Transverser. Uh, swapping away for the Yajiro Invader into the middle zone here. Curious going to send a card here. Is this going to be card destruction? Sends a Waking the Dragon. Okay. Yajiro Invader moves over. Curious effect. Recycles the Waking the Dragon from the graveyard here. I guess we're going to set it in the middle. And then we're going to use this Heraldic Beast here, which banishes to special summon back the Patriarch. And now the Yajiro Invader moves, triggering the Waking the Dragon and the Heraldry Patriarch. The Patriarch has an interesting effect, I think, right? Let's see what the uh, Waking the Dragon target is first and foremost. It's Numeroni is Numeroni. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, we're still under Droll, by the way, so I guess that thing couldn't activate. We're going to activate these two idiots, which attaches onto the Numeroni is Numeroni. Uh, going into Dugaris. Dugaris is going to detach to special summon back the Neko Main King. Destroying the Numerous Numeronia. Special summoning out Numeronius Numer. Oh, there was there's, there's, there's multiple Numeronias. Numeronia. Which one was that one? I don't know. We're equipping onto it. Here's Numeronius Numeronia. We're going to pass turn here. It's got 100,000 attack points. Snow in the draw phase. Banishing a bunch of cards here. Summoning with the snow. Triggering the Yajiro Invader on the other zone to pop the Neko Main King to change or to oh we're actually booking this. He moves in face down defense position. We drew called by the grave to negate Neko Main King turn skip. Oh my god, that is ridiculous. What is going on? By the way, watching a, a set card move is so funny. All right, what are we gonna do here? We're gonna recycle to go into Exodius tribute summon. Raphion, Celestial Transformation, Battle Phase, Numeronis Numeronia, Detach Effect, End of Battle, Deal 100,000 damage to our... 100,000 damage. Oh my god, GG. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this Table 500, Subathon Edition, which may be... Maybe we're still potentially alive while this goes up. Probably not. Is Tierra Burning Abyss Beatrice Pass. Thank you for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And until next time, adios.